Hello, my name is Trevor. I'm a developer and I'm a trainer here at Evolving Web in Montreal. Uh, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a tool called the Sharing Debugger. It's from Facebook. And uh, what it does is it lets you get a preview of what your, your URL, your little card is going to show before you actually share it. So I'll give you an example. Uh, maybe your company or your, your client has put all this effort into this nice long article, blog post, and then you go to share it on Facebook and you get the little preview of it and the wrong image is showing up, the little teaser text is, is, is too long. It just doesn't, doesn't look right. This is what uh, this tool, the sharing debugger, lets you find out before you actually go and share it. So uh, here I am, I'm on uh, uh, this site here, it's called developers.facebook.com slash tools slash debug. And uh, this is where we're gonna paste in our URL for our uh, test page and see things and it'll give us notices and errors. Before I do that though, uh, they got a webmasters page and it sort of goes through, gives you a guide of all the things we should be aware of. And you're gonna see this pop up uh, quite a bit, uh, Open Graph Markup. Uh, Open Graph is a little protocol uh, that Facebook started back in, in 2010, I believe. And basically it's, it's a little uh, a series of tags um, that uh, it's not just for Facebook, other social platforms do use it too. Just tags that tell you uh, what the title should look like, what the type of thing, uh, type of content it is, the image of it. Uh, so other platforms and Facebook can use this and sort of make this, this graph of all this data. We're not gonna go into all that. I'm gonna show you the real nuts and bolts of this. So what I have done is I have made a, a sample article here. Uh, so I've got, you know, uh, 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 the title of it right here, Mary Jackson, and uh, H1 tag here, and a paragraph, and then an image, and some more paragraph tags, and more images, and some more text right there. And you can see that I have it all right here. So we're going to come back to the code in a little bit. So I put this just on my personal, personal website. You don't need to worry about that. I have it here. I'm going to copy the URL for this, and at the sharing debugger, we can put in the URL and it'll give us a preview and give us some, some errors or warnings of things we should be aware of before we actually go and share this. So I'm gonna paste this in here and hit debug. And if it's the first time you've put the URL in there, it might say, hey, we've never seen this before, and it will tell you to go and scrape the URL, and then it'll uh, go and look at the URL and the code for it, and it'll take you to this page here. So on this page, uh, you can see it says, you know, warnings that should be fixed. And so um, uh, uh, I don't have any of these open graph meta tags in my uh, code yet. I'm going to do that in a little bit. But uh, from just the code that I have uh, in my HTML uh, document, it's able to infer. It's able to guess a few things. So this is what it has guessed, and it has uh, generated this. And this looks, you know, looks okay, but there's a few things, a few things wrong with it. Uh, first of all, this image is a bit too high. It doesn't feel like the right ratio for it. Uh, another thing is it says just Mary Jackson right there. Well, maybe I want to use that H1 title uh, instead of the title for, for the page. Uh, another thing, uh, this text is, is, is quite long. It's actually getting cut off. So maybe we want to shorten this text up. So, uh, uh, you know, here's what it's, it's, it's taken it from. And so we can see all the raw tags. It hasn't got anything in there, just the, the one meta tag right there. And so uh, uh, it has give us, given us some warnings up here. It says show all warnings. It's got some missing properties. The following required properties are missing. OG URL, OG type, OG title. What, what, what is this stuff? In the documentation on this webmasters, uh, a guide to sharing for webmasters, it gives us a little sample markup that we should try to follow here. Ultimately, we want to make something kind of like this. Okay, here's sort of their ideal scenario for it. So it gives us a, a markup example. So I'm going to start with, with one of these. Uh, uh, the first error it says right here is the following required properties are missing. OG, for open graph, URL. So I'm going to try this one right here, and it has a little description actually in the basic tags. OG URL, the canonical URL for your page. This should be the undecorated URL. Uh, yeah, so we're going to fill this in right here. So I'm going to copy the meta tag that they have right here, and I'm going to put this inside of my, 
my sample HTML page that I've made. And we're going to put this inside of the head, uh, the head tag. So paste that there. And obviously this is in the New York Times. I'm going to put my own URL. Take this out. And take out the spaces that they've added here. Okay, so I've saved this. So I've made, I've made a change. Uh, after you make a change, you can scrape the page again, and you can see that it, it, it uh, is actually working. So I'm going to do that. I've saved this. It's been uploaded. I'm going to go back to the sharing debugger, and you see this, this button right here. It says scrape again. Okay, and just, to, just so uh, I'm proving this actually works here, in the missing properties right now, it says OG URL, open graph URL is missing. I've added this meta tag uh, into my HTML. Let's scrape this again and see if anything changes. Scrape. Okay, and I'm going to open up this show all warnings again. And now you can see that that is no longer there. OG URL, it has taken it. And all that's missing now is several other tags right here. Uh, I can see down here that it has uh, fetched the URL. It's got the canonical URL right there. So this is good. It has seen uh, the tag that I've, I've, uh, I've added. The next thing I'm going to do is something a bit more visual. You couldn't see that change in the card right here. I'm going to change this title. This title. This title, uh, they've just grabbed it uh, from the title of the page that I gave it. Gave it. So you can see the title tag right up here, Mary Jackson. Okay, but I want to actually use this, this H1 tag uh, that I put up here. So what I can do, I'm going to go back to the webmasters and just go from their sample, their markup uh, example. I'm going to copy the meta property OG title. Copy that. Go back to my, my code here. Paste this in. And I am going to write inside of this content uh, tag right here. The, what I've put in for the H1. So let's put that there. NASA names headquarters after Mary Jackson. Let's save that. I can scrape this again, and this should change. I'll scrape it now. And you can see visually now that it's actually changed that. That's much better. That's much, much better. More descriptive. All right, I'm going to do uh, a couple more. I'm going to go a little bit more quicker this time. Uh, this one, uh, I'm going to do OG image, okay? It has taken the first image on the page right here, and this one's a very tall, tall image. But I have another image over here, down at the bottom. It's a bit more square, and I think that's going to look a little bit nicer. Uh, again, Facebook has just went through my code and has like mm, tried to make some logical uh, 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 logical leaps of what I of what what it's going to grab. But I can specify exactly what I want. So even though this image isn't the first one, I can tell it to to use whichever image I want. It doesn't even have to be an image that appears on the page. It could live elsewhere uh, in a folder somewhere. And maybe you want to specify some some images that are sized correctly for for sharing on Facebook. But just in this example, I'm going to use use this one. So, I'm going to copy the uh, OG image tag they have here, copy, put this meta tag there, and I'm going to swap out the URL that they have here, and I will copy the, um, the image path to this. Now, it's good to use uh, uh, not the relative path like I have here. It just says source Mary Jackson 2jpg You should put in the full path to it. So if you were sending this image to a friend, you know, you'd want to have the entire uh, URL for it, HTTP. It's good to do that. So uh, I'm going to go back to the page, right click, and I'm going to copy the image address. Copy that. and paste that inside the content. Save. Let's scrape again on the sharing debugger. And this image should change. Let's see. It does not, and let's figure out why. Let's figure out why. It's using the OG image right there. Show all raw tags. 
Let's let's scrape it one more time. Let's let's see. Maybe it's something. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's now it's changed it. I guess I had to scrape it twice there. All right. So it's a good thing to test this. Good thing to test this and scrape it uh, maybe multiple times. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Let's change one more thing. Let's change this text right down here. Um, let's make this a little bit shorter. This is coming from the OG description tag. So up here, OG description. Go back to my code, put this above the OG image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy some of this first line here. Uh, the agency's headquarters building in Washington, D.C. will be named after Mary W. Jackson. Now you might have to fiddle with this, maybe see what the content length should be. Let's scrape this again. Okay, it's still a little bit long. You would wanna play with it yourself uh, and see what results you can get there. Maybe you have to change things as well. Okay, the one other error, that area, <laughs> error they have for us is OG type, OG type. There's a lot of different types. So this might be an article, so we'd wanna tag it as such. There's other ones like uh, you could say if it's a, it's a film review or if it's a recipe, uh, just so you know, uh, or Facebook and other platforms know what type of content is, is, is being shared. So this is an article, uh, uh, there is documentation here uh, with all the different types uh, that you can select from, but I'm just gonna use article for now. Go back to the code, put this under title, save that. I'm gonna scrape it one more time. Again, you'll see this OG type, that should disappear. Let's scrape it again and now that error is gone. Now there's another one here called FB app underscore ID. That's you could register your, your, your app or your page and so you can get more insights into how your stuff is being shared. I'm not gonna go through that right now, but hopefully you're getting the idea of how these meta tags are actually actually working. And you can see all the raw tags that it's, it's, it's looking at for this. So uh, I could go and I could uh, share this on Facebook. Let's, let's try it out. Um, I'm gonna copy this. Go to my own personal Facebook, maybe hide some of the things that are gonna appear here. All right, and let's see the preview that it gives us. And you can see the preview uh, right there. Works pretty good. All right, now that's a lot of work. <laughs> you shouldn't expect uh, uh, your editors or your people putting in content to go and edit all of these, all of these tags uh, themselves in the code. Uh, instead, uh, you would probably have a, a content management system, one like Drupal, which is something that we train in here at Evolving Web to manage this. Um, and so uh, there's a, a Drupal there's a sorry. There's a module for Drupal called Meta Tag Module, and um, I'm going to show this in a, in another video, uh, maybe part two of this, uh, how you can set up the Meta Tag Module within your Drupal site. So it takes care a lot of, of a lot of this stuff. Uh, how you can set up some defaults so your editors aren't having to put this in all the time. Uh, save you some uh, uh, some time to putting in content. So uh, segueing into that, uh, at Evolving Web we do training. Uh, uh, for you know basic stuff like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, uh, but uh, we build our sites with Drupal. Uh, a lot of our client sites built with Drupal. We also do Drupal training, uh, stuff from you know uh, basic site building, uh, uh, theming, making your own theme, to module development, uh, accessibility. Uh, do a bunch of Drupal training. So you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash training uh, to learn about that, and you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash newsletter to sign up for our newsletter to get, to get news about upcoming trainings and articles that uh, I and others write uh, that uh, you might find interesting. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.